Question 33, 0.9 times 200. Now the easiest thing to do here is to think about place value. And also we can turn it into an easier calculation. We could just make this 0 0.9 10 times bigger into 9 and do 9 times 200 first of all. Well, 9 times 200 will be nice and easy because 9 times 2 is 18. But then we've got one zero, two zeros to add on. So add your two zeros on and be 1800. So 9 times 200 is 1800. But if you look at the original calculation, it wasn't 9. It was 0 0.9 times 200. That's the only difference between what we've already got an answer for of 1800 and the original question. 9 times 200 was originally 0 0.9 times 200. So to get from what we've got, the 9, to what we actually need, 0 0.9, we've got to divide it by 10. So what's going to happen is our answer would also need to be divided by 10. So if we do 1,800 divided by 10, we would just knock one zero off. So that would be 180. So our final answer is 180. Just remember with your place value, if you've got thousands, hundreds, tens in units, and you've got 1,800, if you divide by 10, you're not really knocking a zero off. You can do that because there's a zero there, but what you're actually doing by knocking the zero off is you're moving all the digits one place backwards. So this zero goes into the tenths column, this zero goes into the units column, this eight goes into the tens column, and this one goes into the hundreds column. But don't forget, you've got a decimal point here. And that's why you end up with 180, because it's 180.0, because this zero has moved backwards behind the point. So it's 180.0.